What is up you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here, bringing you another video game review. This is going to be for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, to be honest, I haven't been a fan of Call of Duty the past couple of years. I believe that the games are getting weaker and weaker and weaker with each, with each release. And uh, I, I wasn't going to get this game, but you know, I still have a tradition to where even though I don't get, don't want to get the Call of Duty games, I still end up getting them anyways. So I got this game, and when I heard that this game had been in development for about three years from different game developers uh, of Sledgehammer, I was a little skeptical. I didn't know what to think, but I ended this game thinking that uh, I really like this game because it definitely does feel like a new, fresher, innovative Call of Duty experience. I mean, there's so many new things added to the gameplay to where it's definitely a fresher and newer Call of Duty experience. Now, of course, the first thing I play whenever I get a Call of Duty game is the campaign. Uh, the campaign is about 15 missions. It's five hours long. That's how long I think it is. And uh, the story for the campaign is kind of weak. Well, a part of the story is weak. I mean, you're working for this m private military company called Atlas. And it's set in the future, and you're playing as Mitchell, who's lost his arm, and they gave you, like, this bionic arm. And you're f fighting a war in the future, and the leader of Atlas is a guy named Jonathan Irons, who was voiced by Kevin Spacey. Uh, and as you go on in the game, you find out that he's actually the bad guy, and he's ha making all these attacks happen on purpose for his own personal gain. So, um, it's not necessarily a bad story if you think about it, it's just the turn on Kevin Spacey, on Jonathan Irons, when you turn on him and you find out that he's bad, it just felt very forced, you know, it was very, very cliched, like, oh, the bad guy dies, here, take this, I'm the good guy, he's the bad guy, and then a mission later, oh, he's bad, we gotta go escape and find someone else, it was very, very forced and very, very cliched in my opinion, but overall, the campaign was good, in my opinion. It was nice and action-packed. Uh, as you go on in the missions, each mission you have a different exosuit. There's this thing called the exosuit, which is very Edge of Tomorrow-ish. Um, where you can do, like, boost jumps, you can cloak, and you can strafe and stuff like that. Each mission has different selections of the exosuit. And I thought the exosuit was, was fun. It's what made the game feel different, in my opinion. I really, really like the exosuit. I love boosting up, and I love doing all this stuff with the exosuit. The graphics in this game are just amazing. This is the best-looking Call of Duty game by far. True next-gen Call of Duty game. I know I keep saying that with my reviews, but this really is the true next-gen Call of Duty game. It's not the best PS4-looking game I've played. Killzone Shadowfall is still the best PS4 game I've played, but this game still looked really good on the PS4. And I had a good time with the campaign. Each mission is like its own like little roller coaster ride, and I, I had fun with it. The ending was kind of sudden, but all the endings for Call of Duty campaigns have always been very, very fast and very sudden. It's like once you beat the bad guy, it's like what happens next? Credits. That's what that's what that's what it's like. That was what the ending was like for me. Okay, so the second thing I moved on to was the multiplayer, of course, because Every Call of Duty game, you have to admit, the multiplayer is the biggest thing to it. Uh, the multiplayer is fun, and the multiplayer had tons of variety to it with the gameplay and stuff. It's very innovative. I love boosting up and down and shooting guys and stuff. I uh, did record my first match of the game, and I don't know if I'm going to put it up or not, but I did record my first match of the game, and I did pretty well. Um, so I guess people are still trying to get used to it. But the multiplayer is pretty fun. It's the same. It plays out the same way. You know, you level up, you get new weapons, you get kill streaks, stuff like that. And overall, it's still pretty fun, though. I mean, there are a, quite a bit of maps. I don't know how many maps there are, but um, some of the maps are pretty interesting. They take it from sort of like Battlefield 4-ish, where stuff will happen in the environment. Like there's this one map where a giant tsunami comes and just floods everything. And I was stupid my first time through, like, I got flooded by it because I was just standing there staring at it, thinking I was safe, but then it went, and just killed me. Um, the third thing to the game 
is survival mode. Now, survival mode is basically another ripoff of Nazi zombies. Uh, it really wasn't that exciting in my opinion. It's just you trying to survive. Shooting guys, killing guys. They do try to switch up the formula every once in a while where it's not the same thing every round. Sometimes you'll be like trying to fuse bombs. You're going to be trying to take intel from enemies. But overall, survival mode is just a ripoff of Nazi zombies. I haven't played this game with my friends yet. When my friend Nathan comes over, I'm definitely going to ask him to play this with me because this game is better than other multiplayer Call of Duty games in the past, like Ghosts and Black Ops and stuff. This game is definitely different. This, I don't know how many times you're going to say that, but this game is different. Um, would I recommend going out and getting this game now for full price? No. I did like this game. Um, my only issue is I didn't feel that I got enough with this game. I mean, the multiplayer for me in Call of Duty after a while just gets very, very old and I don't really feel like playing it anymore. The campaigns are very short and I wasn't a big fan of the survival mode, so I don't feel like I was given a, a lot with this game. I mean, there, of course there's going to be DLCs and stuff, but I didn't feel like I was given a lot with this game. But it is better than games we've had in the past, like Ghost and stuff. It's not the best Call of Duty game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 still remains to be my favorite Call of Duty game, but this is still a good, entertaining Call of Duty game. It looks amazing, it's new, it's got tons of things to it, and overall, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I give this game a 7.5 out of 10. The story was kind of cliched a little bit, and uh, I just wasn't a big fan of the survival mode. So, overall, I enjoyed this game. Overall, um, if you were a Call of Duty fan, then go out and buy it. You're, you'll, you'll enjoy this game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's really all I have to say about the game. Uh, it, it was a very, very, very fun game while it lasted. But then it's kind of like, now what am I going to do now? Man, it's just, just going to sit there. Actually, it's not going to sit anywhere. I bought it on a PlayStation store. I am going to be doing another video game review coming up soon. Because I am also playing Alien Isolation as well. So, once I beat that game, I'll get that review up to you guys as well. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's a fun, entertaining game. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say about this game. Um, so... I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.